Uh, here's what the actual shot, and then here's how we change that. What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Blake. I'm a cinematographer based here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today I'm going to be walking you through how I shot and edited this film for the MLB. Okay, and by MLB I mean minor league baseball, Chattanooga lookouts, go lookouts. But hey, still the MLB, same, same letter. Come on, just check it out. Remember last year? Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more... Of course you do. Closed doors, empty spaces, long, frightening days, fun replaced by fear, traditions replaced by uncertainty. Some minor league baseball teams could lose ties to the major league that we lost could people. include our own Chattanooga Lookouts team. We lost jobs. Our dreams took a backseat to survival. We gave up so much, but we never gave up. We kept going wherever and however and whenever we could, we inched forward. We believed dawn would break, that doors chained shut would open again, that dreams could still become reality. Coming to you. But one thing we never believed, not for a second, was that things would ever go back to normal. That won't happen. Because after all we've been through together, and all we've been through on our own, we can't see something as simple as a day at the ballpark as normal. We can only see it for what it is, a dream come true. So what'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? That was definitely the coolest video I've ever made, so I'm really happy to really happy to say that I was the DP and editor on that project and helped with a good bit with the story aspect too. So anyways, I guess to jump right into it, I want to show you my timeline real quick and just let you see how I kind of organize projects and whatnot. So if you look, I use Final Cut Pro as my editing software and I've got just a base. I kind of I, I love the magnetic timeline sometimes, but also it can get really frustrating. So I just create a layer and that's where I can do everything without these clips automatically jumping around how I don't want them. So top is just all the video. And then down here I have uh, four different colors for audio. So this blue, uh, I guess that's closest to actual blue is if I used audio from a video clip. So blue is just any on-camera audio that I use. This lighter blue or teal almost, or blue green, whatever this is, is artificial sound design. And so, you know, that's your whooshes, your uh, tennis shoes walking on dirt, light bulbs, you know, any of that. Any, any sound effects that I add is this color. And then green is music and this ugly green is the voiceover. When I first started editing this video, I used another song and got pretty far into the story using that one. And I think it, I think the song really worked a little bit stronger on the front end. Up until about 30 seconds, I thought the other song was better, but I think the powerful ending uh, of this other song just made made me want to use this one instead. So anyways, we'll, we'll start off from the beginning. So this first clip right here, we went at sunrise to Ingle Stadium, which Ingle Stadium is a historic stadium here in Chattanooga. The movie 42 was shot in this stadium, but we got to film this scene. We reached out to somebody that could uh, to get us into the stadium. So this is the first scene. We shot all this video in two days. So this was Monday morning. Remember last year? Fake footsteps, set in the scene. If you listen closely, there's fire, fake fire trucks. So I used a riser for right here and I just reversed it and added some reverb on it and kind of brought the volume down in order to kind of create my own whoosh. Remember last year? Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more- Of course you do. He's in a laundry room. Uh, baseball players, especially minor league baseball players, tend to 
spend a lot of time on the road and so we wanted kind of to document that lifestyle of always on the road and being in a laundromat and it looked cool. Um, helps set the scene. The premise of the video too is this is the big return from coronavirus. The, the lookouts didn't get to play last year. Um, almost were canceled completely. And so this, season, this video is made to help open up the season, get everybody hyped, get out, cheer on the lookouts. So right here you can hear that news audio. I uh, just pulled some audio clips where they talk about COVID. I just brought the opacity down. Closed doors, empty spaces. We got really lucky with the weather for this shoot, kind of. There's scenes we wanted it to be sunny and then scenes we wanted it to be rainy. So one of the days we, we ran back to the stadium when they texted us saying it was raining and we just picked up these shots, these, this gloomy, doom, the end of the world feel. Long, frightening days. Cases of coronavirus around Fun the replaced by fear. Traditions replaced by uncertainty. Well, some minor league baseball teams could lose ties to the major league. That so I guess this this scene's pretty cool. We uh, this was actually shot at his house. Dean is our actor. Dean was awesome. We got the little product placement of the little lookout's eyes right there, and then hazed up the room. I shot my. Uh, 300D up on the ceiling to kind of get some natural light and then threw these lamps on. I'm happy with how it looked. Uh, this one of my favorite screen grabs from it, this little uh, hazy bedroom. Him reminiscing, him, this is him just processing what would my life be like without baseball. More news stuff. We lost people. include our own Chattanooga Lookouts team. We lost jobs. Our dreams took a backseat to survival. We gave up so much. I really like this, uh, the transition between him and the batting cage, getting a hit to him back that sunrise on Ingle Stadium. Looks like he's just putting in some speed work, some speed drills. So I pulled some, uh, for this, I used some sound effects of just TV baseball sound effects. You know, people losing their mind. It's just kind of him, you know, an empty stadium and bet envisioning a crowd full of people cheering him on. Kind of cool. Gave up so much, but we never gave up. I just love that shot. You can see all the plants growing and everything looks really shut down and just, I feel like this frame really captured the what we were trying to do pretty well. We kept going. So just a little montage of him putting in the work and then we see the first clip of him in the locker room. So it goes act one, doom gloom, act two, putting in the work, and then act three is just hype footage just to get you ready to run through a brick wall in the locker room. So this is just the first clip that teases act three of him in the club room. Forever and however and whenever we could, we inched forward. Again, right here, shooting shadow side as he's doing this motion, moving the camera with the, the medicine ball. Actually took that one out of the good old Danny Gewirtz book. Shout out to Danny. Yeah, so this scene was actually really cool. Let's see if I can... So first off, I mean, there's tons of sound effects going on. We've got the announcer in the background. You know, he's starting to envision actually being all back together. He's in the uniform. Number 12, baby, let's go. And also in the voiceover, when it talks about we believe doors change shut would open again, we've got the lights, the stadium lights coming on as if we're ready to start playing again. So that was cool. So this clip actually, let's see if I can pull this up. I shot this actually in reverse because if you know anything about those big old lights, they take forever to cool down. So how we actually shot this is we shot it in reverse and I was on speakerphone. Uh, here's what the actual shot and then here's how we changed that. And I knew we only had one shot at getting this shot perfect, so really happy with how it turned out for only having one shot, or we could have waited an hour, but the lighting would have been completely different. So just shot it in reverse and had somebody on speakerphone on the switcher board just ready to flip it. We believed dawn would break, that doors chained shut would open again, that dreams could still become reality. Coming to you. But one thing we never believed, not for a second, was that things would ever go back to normal. Then we lead to them playing around in the field and just 
getting ready. It's just warm ups before game kind of uh, feels what I was going for. I had him ground the ball and then when he threw the ball, I flicked the camera the other way. And I had one shot that worked better right here. I, I, I used like a cheap zoom transition. I had another shot that worked a lot better, but I just used that same kind of environment too much. So this one's cool. Could have been cooler, could have pulled off a little bit better, but gotta do what you gotta do. That won't happen. Because after all we've been through together, and all we've been through on our own. Yeah, so if you look again in this clubhouse scene, we've got everybody just shadow side. We're shooting shadow side, and got some pretty dramatic lighting, got them all in tents. We can't see something as simple as a day at the ballpark as normal. We can only see it for what it is. A dream come true. It's a funny story about this shot right here. I actually left my batteries in the clubhouse the, the night before, and so my Atomos Ninja batteries were in there, and so this was the the hero shot that we needed to get perfect, and of course my monitor was dead right before we needed to do this. So I was just using my little tiny Sony A7S III screen. I don't think I knew about Gamma Display Assist yet too, so I was just praying that the shot turned out okay. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? It's also the only shot in the whole film that I shot in slow-mo. Everything else I shot at 24 frames per second, but I knew we wanted to sit on this. And so uh, the, the name of this film is Darkness to Light. And here we have our player walking out from darkness to light. And we kind of wanted this all to be overexposed. So wanted it to feel almost heavenly. The guy I was working with, Kenny, my boss, he was shooting a little can of haze from up here and it looked like smoke and I thought it did the trick pretty well. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's how I shot and edited a film, a commercial for the MLB. Uh, I got to do this with the company that I work for, Good Story Films. Check us out. Um, I'm also a freelancer and I do cool projects like this on the side here and there. Um, Hey, if, you, if this is your first time watching one of our one of my videos, hope you enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun having your eyeballs on my screen. And if you like this style of video and you want me to do something else like this again, let me know. I've got some cool projects coming up, and some just waiting on the client to let us release. So, anyways, see you next time. I'm